Hello, my fellow Americans. Tis I, the Rumpled One. It's the day before Donald Trump gets sworn into office. You may be wondering how come I haven't been uh, doing more of these my fellow American videos. It's almost gotten to the point where, you know, I'm basically preaching to the choir. I'm repeating myself a lot. But it's just so, th things are just so ludicrous. It, it just kind of shake my head and just, it's like, it, it's almost pointless to talk about it because these people out there are just idiots. I mean, we got John Lewis, congressman, representative, whatever the heck he is, senator, I can't remember which. But the point is, you know, 50 years ago he marched with Martin Luther King. You know, he took a beating. You know, he fought for the cause. But you know what? That was 50 years ago. What have you done lately? I mean, he's just riding on this. He's just riding on that one thing. He's like a one-hit wonder. You know, he had one hit, and that was it. Hey, that rhymes. One hit, and that was it. But the point is, is that you know. He wants to go out there and say that Trump is an illegitimate president because the Russians hacked. Now, this is so preposterous, and I know other people see, see the hypocrisy and the irony, but let's just break it down. Number one, there's no concrete proof that the Russians hacked. That's number one. Number two... We know what Hillary and the Democrats did, how they basically, you know, cheated Bernie Sanders out of a fair shot. So if there is a crime of doing anything to disrupt our democratic process, it's the Democrats who are guilty, not the Russians. And even if the Russians were guilty, number three, how many elections has the U.S influenced across the world in the past 100 years or 50 years. I mean, you just go right down the line. I mean, it's the hypocrisy is just unbelievable. And for him to stand up there and say that, you know, Hillary Clinton should be the president, why? Because she cheated Bernie Sanders out of a fair shake? Because, see, that's what this whole thing is about. They, the Democrats, the liberals, they do not want people focusing in on what they did. No, let's talk about the Russians, and let's not let let's get the story off of what we did. No, the story, the real crime, the real problem is the way the Democrats went about this election, not the Russians or the Chinese or whoever fat guy in his mom's basement, you know. It doesn't, that doesn't matter. That's not the real issue. The real issue is what the Democrats did and how they cheated Bernie Sanders. But I think you already know that. And if you don't, well, now you do. But it's lost on these idiots. I mean, you, you tell them about that and they still want to talk about the Russians. It's like, one brain cell is just not talking to the other brain cell. They've, they've got nothing. It's, like I say, it, it's, that's why I haven't even been doing these videos any, anymore because it's just so preposterous. It's just so ridiculous. And you can't convince these people. I mean, they're still out there talking about this Trump, that Trump, he hasn't even been sworn in yet. You know, there's going to be how many thousands of people protesting, you know. What about all the people said if, the, if he won, they're going to leave the country? You know, I don't see, are they standing up? Are they, you know, or are they just running their jaws because they didn't think it was going to happen? You see, that's part of the problem. You know, people don't do what they say they're going to do. Big problem. But, you know, just the whole idea that Trump is not, his presidency is illegitimate. I mean, 
if Hillary had won now, you want to talk about an illegitimate presidency. Now, the big question is, is I don't know, I haven't heard the news yet today, but time's running out. Is Obama going to pardon Hillary for all crimes or potential crimes, or is he going to leave her hanging? <laughs> Maybe literally, because if he doesn't pardon her like um, Johnson pardoned Nixon, no, not Johnson. Who was it? Um, or was it Johnson? Who, well, whoever. Whoever pardoned Nixon, I can't remember. Brain fart. Um, so he didn't have to, you know, face justice. If Obama doesn't pardon Hillary, hey, you know what? She might be, you know, wearing an orange is the new black jumpsuit after all. Wouldn't that be sweet? But don't hold your breath, my fellow Americans, because as always, it's time to wake up and smell the tyranny.